Oh, um, my God, oh my God, dehydrate. I, oh, I just, I, I the way I did it, the way I, I was, did it was, I just, I had this one song I wanted to learn, yeah. so I just okay, learned those three chords <laughs> and that song and how to play and sing that one song. That's all I did for like a whole year was learn one song, but I learned it really good. And then when I got that, then I, everything clicked, you know what I mean? Because I learned how to sing and play and keep rhythm at the same time, because I knew exactly how that song, and it was, it was God of Wonder, so it was just, you know. So if this closes, it'll lose the whole stream. So I don't want to do that. Here we go. Oh, that's really too high. Nice. Got to set on stage for a very low price. <laughs> Even Mike Bailen's bringing food tonight. Huh? Oh, 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 Anyone with the sound of my voice, come here to eat. When he comes in, we all got to say happy birthday. Okay, okay. Oh, this is happy birthday. It was yesterday was. <laughs> Now is that too high? Now it's too high, isn't it? What's happening, Cheryl? Here's that. This thing is just so much hot space. I don't know what to say. You have to watch out. Hello, one viewer. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Wednesday night, everybody, everyone, and we're uh, getting together to praise Jesus because he has done so much for us, and we're going to practice. We're practicing up for our roles in heaven, and Hi, Brad and Chris, Brad and Chris, 
Yay. 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 It's, okay, check in with us. Let us know. We're going to pray the, for you. Um, so on September the... 11th. 5th. <laughs> September the 5th, which is a Sunday. After church, everyone's invited over here for just to eat and hang out. Yep. Yeah. 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 September 5th. September 5th. Aww. My mom's 90th birthday. Oh, my Bring her over. Bring her over. Yeah. She won't come. Yeah. <laughs> Tell and her then, to come. Don't forget on the 15th, or the um, Wednesday, the, is Wednesday the 17th or the 18th? 12th, 12th. Of next month. This is about a month. We're going to be going down to the mission if you want to go to that. That's the only announcements really that we got. The 15th. The 15th is the way to say, okay. Seems like I had some great support. Congratulations to the new Miller baby. Yay! That was a good. Yeah, it was great to hear that we all prayed and she got to the hospital and got and got her good uh, got the doctor she wanted. And uh, thank you, Lord. That was good. Answer prayer. We were out at um, Mason City yesterday witnessing with my two with my three the three generals in the army there, Melody, Terry, and Vicky, and we met uh, a bunch of people. And I will tell you, brothers and sisters. The world is crazy. Yeah. We met some crazy people. Yeah. More and more. We met a, a, a young man who thought he was a woman, who was yeah. dressed like a woman, and he was an yeah. African American gentleman wearing hot pants, but he was about six foot three and 270 or 80 pounds, and he had a husband that was about 140 pounds, all. <laughs> geeked out and uh, he had the toenails and everything else and he was a wife and she was and it was um, it was um, well, let's put it this way we, we you know what we showed him the love of Jesus yeah. and we told him that Jesus loved him and that we would pray for them and um, if they would read the Bible they would get an, they would get an idea but um, and before you they were just there, lost yeah. we met a prophet from Japan a what? A prophet from Japan. A prophet from Japan. Yeah, that said God had ran away and wasn't coming back. And that what? <laughs> God had ran away and wasn't going to come back. Oh, so that, okay. And, and Vicky kind of held me back because I was starting to do a little bit. Kind of a false So he wasn't a, he was a false prophet or whatever. He was a prophet for... Yeah, and then we met a guy who was on his way to court. And uh, he needed prayer because he had some unpaid fines, so we prayed for him. And then we asked him if he knew Jesus, and he said that he's been trying to get a hold of Jesus, but Jesus won't take his call. <laughs> and I said, that's a lie. So we prayed, against, we prayed against that lie. I was like, Jesus, they put us here just to see, just so that you could meet us, because he has a message. He's not... You you have the wrong number. <laughs> You're calling the other guy. Jesus is calling you. Anyway, we love everybody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the living God. We're here because the best thing that we can do is, is to fellowship in the Spirit, to praise our Savior, and to get ready for the big day. All kinds of fire. Oh my God, He died. And I love you, dearly. Dearly, Lord. Oh my God, He died.
terrifying thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Yes. It's terrifying. Yes. He's so pure and so good. We wouldn't even stand That's a chance. Have to go through the sun. You've got to go. There's only one way to go, right? Yep. Every other way is for the thieves and robbers, right? And uh, so anyway, I got a song, but this is just kind of a song I like to play, so you guys will just have to listen. Right? Okay. <laughs> It's called Glory to the King. Okay. I feel love. I feel safe. I feel Jesus in this place. I feel a warmth within me. I can't describe it. But I believe I feel peace I feel light I see my saints Turn to white I feel a burden Lift from me As I raise my hands up and I sing, sing it, glory, glory, glory to the King. Sing it, glory, glory, glory. Yeah. 
Spirit bring. I hear the moving of angel wings and all their voices as they sing. Here's the whole meaning of life. Ready? Know Jesus as good as you can and to tell other people about him so that they can know them as good as they can. Right. Okay, Keck, class over. <laughs> Your life is over. This is all purpose of life. Right? If Jesus is who he says he is. Otherwise, oppose Jesus with everything you can because he's a deceitful liar and he's claiming to be something he's not. And a lot of people... Maybe, I don't know, 10 billion, 20 billion people in the course of the history of humanity have been deceived by this deceiver. So, you make the choice, right? I made my choice. Jesus is the Lord. And if he's the God who created me and everything, if he's the creator God of the Godhead, then my job is to get to know him more than anything. And the fact that he died for me as the creator God, makes it even more important that I get to know him. And having done that, I have purpose in life. It really is that. It's who knows Jesus best wins. That's it. I used to live by who had the best, most toys wins. You remember that deal? Yeah. That was the world I grew up in. Whoever has the most toys yeah. wins. Yeah. Well, no, it's the truth is, whoever knows Jesus the best wins. Yeah. That's because we're earning a career in heaven. We're going to have a career. We're going to have a life, and we're going to have a life, eternal life in heaven. And the trajectory that we're on, when He takes us, is the trajectory that we're going to go. You know, so it's important that we keep walking with Jesus, because you may have been really close to Him, but He even chastises one of the churches and says, uh, "But you have forgotten your first love." You know, it's a relationship. But one thing good about Jesus is if you really, he's the only person that gets more beautiful, more mysterious, more loving, more powerful, more glorious, more wonderful, the more you know him. I have not met a human being that is like that. This this, is true. Even me. I'm sick of me. And I used to have a pretty good love affair with me. Ask anybody. 
And you know what? I'm sick of me. I want Jesus. Amen? Amen. So today we're going to figure out how to do. So what is the the whole, Jesus is going to tell us about something. We're going to read the story, and I guarantee you that you got it wrong because you didn't read the scripture good and understand what Jesus was saying. How's that? And you know the story. Everybody in this here knows the story. So I'm going to ask, has anybody ever heard the expression, the Good Samaritan? Yes. So the Good Samaritan was showing how to what? Love thy what? So the whole of the law is two commandments. What is it? If everything in life is all about love, right? So God is love. The law is love. The law of love is the higher law. What is it? So tell me. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and mind and soul. And, and strength. And strength. And, and love your neighbor as yourself. Okay, if you didn't hear that. So Jesus said, all of it, all of the law, everything, everything God has ever revealed is very simple. Love the Lord God with all your mind, heart, soul, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. So, was the Good Samaritan showing us how to love his neighbor? Yes. Well, so let's go read what the scripture says. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay. Turn to Luke, Luke chapter 10. So I'll get my little thing out. Father, let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we love you today, Lord. Praise you. Lord, thank you that we have still have an opportunity to get together and to um, fellowship in, the, in your spirit and with our believers here. Lord, we're going to continue to do the right thing, which is to get to know you, Jesus, to understand your teachings, to understand uh, and love one another. I'm kind of being a little tricky on that, Lord. So allow me to play with your with a word called neighbor here a little bit. But we know what you mean. It's really about love, loving you and loving others, and that's the truth. But there's a method to how we love others better. And you reveal it in the parable, Lord. And I pray that you would, that what you have showed me is of you and that it helps others. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, I'll get my e-sword. By the way, if you haven't gotten e-sword, it's right here. Okay. It's right there. And, uh, uh uh-oh. Oh, that was my guitar chord. But... This is weird because I don't know how to, you can see that E right there. It's a free or it's two bucks if you have an Android. And it has the Bible on it and all, all of the Greek and Hebrew. And do you know that the only two um, alphanumeric languages are Hebrew and Greek? In other words, there's numbers associated with each uh, letter, right? So... Um, it's amazing because that's what the Bible is written in. There's a lot of, I'm a numbers person. The numbers of the Bible are, it, it will make you understand that the Bible is the most amazing thing that has ever, there's, it's not possible for, if you had a billion supercomputers, you could not even write one page of the Bible with all that it represents. It's just impossible. Anyway, that's a, so let's go to Luke 10. I'm going to do 14. I was going to do 14, but the Lord told me to do 10. And it starts with uh, the parable of the Good Samaritan. And uh, verse 10, 25. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him. So right away, the lawyer is trying to trick Jesus. Okay. Saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And he said unto him, what, well, what is written in the law? How do you read it? And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy strength, all thy soul, with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. So he, he, knew, the, he knew it. That was it, the whole thing. And Jesus said unto him, You've answered right, so do this and you will live. 
but he willing to justify it the way he lived. You see, okay, so obviously he his idea of who his neighbor was was different from what he knew in his spirit that the law was. Why would he want to justify himself? You justify yourself when you think that you're under a false accusation or, or you're not being properly um, recognized, correct? Is that, that's why you want, ju you want to justify yourself. He said, who is my neighbor? So remember, love your neighbor. So Jesus is going to, Jesus is going to explain to him who is his, who is the neighbor? Who gets to play the part of the neighbor? Because we're supposed to love our neighbor as ourselves. Okay? So he says a certain man, and this is a really good parable because it's about how religion can't, will not save you and how legality will not save you. Right? That's right. Because we have uh, two religious people. But, and I was, and here's, you know what, I remember I said I had the revelation and I forgot it, mm -hmm. but I was, here's the revelation. In the end days, do you know what though, so we've encountered a lot of demon spirits, especially if you're in the drug world or in your deliverance, and <clears throat> what's the most dangerous demon spirit to encounter? I'll give you a hint. It's the one who's, who started it all, a demon spirit. And it's the one who's going to end it all. And what is the number one spirit? It's the religious spirit. Because Lucifer, above all, wants his own religion where, he's the, where he is the center. He wants to be the center of religion. He loves religion. He's the king of all the religions except the religions of the Christians. He's the, he's, the, he's the head of Buddhism, he's the head of Islam, he's the head of Zoroasterism, he's the head of Tao, you know, you got it. He's the head of them all, and he loves it, and he's very good at it, and he has some wonderful disciples in his religion who don't even know it. And they're very religious. Hang out with a Muslim, you'll see they're very religious. And you know what? They have some good stuff going. But... It's a religious spirit that killed Jesus. So the most fearful spirit is a religious spirit. And here's why. Because a religious spirit will do wickedness in the name of God, thinking it's yep. evil, thinking it's good. And now, here the Lord told me was, the, the spirit of fear is going to release the re, final religious spirit. And the spirit is going to say to the Christians who believe that we have a sacred duty to protect our blood because the life is in the blood and that we're not going to fall for the beast system and go to the beast for our healing. We're going to go to Jesus. They're going to call us wicked, uncaring, unloving people. And they will kill us and turn us over, just like Jesus said, and think they are doing the work of God. That's what's coming. That's what's coming, and I'm telling you, the religious spirit calls evil good and good evil. The religious spirit does good in its own mind. That's where it's really dangerous. When you when you meet people that aren't that you can deal with people that know they're evil or are doing evil, but when they're doing evil and they think they're doing good, it's a whole different ball game. Right? Anyway, so let's continue. That was what I that's what my revelation was is the religious spirit He's going to do all the damage in the end, just like he did in the beginning. So it says, so he says, uh, okay, remember the question was, and who is my neighbor? So he's asking Jesus, okay, Jesus, the law says love God with everything and love your neighbor as yourself, right? Okay. And Jesus said, a certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. Okay. Every time you go you leave Jerusalem, the city of peace, you always go down. It doesn't matter if you go north, south, east, or west. You're always going down because Jerusalem is up. Peace is up where God is. Jerusalem is the city of the great king. Right? And so, um, a man... Now, read in your mind the fallen man who once had a relationship with God. Okay? So before, so th this man represents the fall, fallen man, okay? 
at once we had, it says that we're in the ministry of reconciliation, correct? Mm -hmm. God is reconciling us to himself back, right? Right? We're the lost sheep. We left the fold. So we left the city of peace, which is where God is, and we went down, okay? And uh, he fell among thieves. Let's see, who's the thief? The thief comes not but to steal, kill, and destroy. Oh, the he fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment. Oh, didn't Adam and Eve? Lord, we hid from you. We were naked. Oh, they were made naked. They were they were denuded. And were wounded. And they beat him up and they stole from him and they departed and they left him half dead. Yeah. The whole world is half dead. The whole world is but dead men. If you don't know Jesus, you're dead men walking. That's yeah. all you are. You're dead, but you're alive walking, but you're dead. You've been beaten up, robbed, you're naked, and you're and you're in trouble. And it says, and by chance there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed on the other side. So yeah. We get a priest who's supposed to be ministering to God, and he knows all of the, um, um, a priest worked in the temple, okay, and serviced God, but he's too busy. He couldn't be bothered with the, he was working for God, not doing the work of God. So he would not touch the young king. He went to the other side. So the priest, so tradition will not help you. The priest knew all the traditions. It was about the tradition. Remember, Jesus said the traditions of men nullify the spirit of God, right? Nullify the law of God. You, and, and, and we know religions that have great traditions. The Catholic religion is all about tradition. Yeah. But it nullifies the relationship with God. And it leaves men dead. And then it said, uh, but a certain, um, and likewise, a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by. Now, a Levite was supposed to represent God. He was of the lineage of the of the the, the priests of God. Yeah. He knew all the law. The Levites know the law, but the law couldn't save that man either. So the tradi religious tradition couldn't save. We represented all the religious traditions, and even the law of Moses couldn't save. They both walked to the other side and left the man for dead. But then an un, but then comes a uh, a Samaritan. An enemy of that man. So we were enemies of God. So to that Jewish man, actually God was his enemy. Do you understand that? He thought he was with God, but he was actually in the, the relationship. Do you understand what I'm saying? But watch, it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn. And it has he journeyed where he came and he saw him and he had compassion on him. Do you remember the scripture says that Jesus saw, had he looked at the crowds, and he had right. compassion on them. Jesus actually uses the very words that he knew were going to be written about him in his own story. So who is the Samaritan? It's Jesus, the most unlikely person, and in this story, the enemy. The Samaritan is the enemy of the Levite, he's the enemy of the priest, and he's the enemy of the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They considered Samaritans dogs. Yeah. They didn't understand that the Samaritan was actually going to save them. In other words, they didn't understand Jesus, and they didn't understand God, although they thought they did. They had a religious spirit. Yeah. And he went to him, and he bound up his wounds. He gave him healing. He poured in oil and wine. Oh, he poured in the oil. And remember that song we poured? And he set him on his own beast. Remember Jesus said, uh, take my yoke upon you. Jesus is, our, is the beast of burden. He's the one who's the servant of man. He's going to put you on his back. He's going to get, and he's going to take you to a place. And brought him to an inn and took care of him. And on the next day, he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the owner of the inn and said, you take care of him. I'm going away. Whatever else he needs, I will come back again and I will pay the rest. Come back. Do you understand yeah. that he's, that this is Jesus, right? Jesus bounds up the man. 
He touched the man. He put To put a man on the back of your beast of burden means you've got to get close to him. So this is the ministry of Jesus. Now Jesus asked the question, which of these three do you think was a neighbor unto that man? So he's going to ask you, who was neighbor? Remember the beginning was, well, who is my neighbor? Jesus asked them, so who was the neighbor? And they say, the one who showed mercy to that man was the neighbor. Oh, I thought the neighbor was the man that got beat up. Not in the story. The neighbor is the good Samaritan, is the neighbor. Jesus said, who's the neighbor to that man? So now, if you have to love your neighbor as yourself in this story, who do you love? The man or the good Samaritan? The good Samaritan. He's the one you need to love as yourself. Well, who is the good Samaritan? It's Jesus. So what's the first commandment? Love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And love Jesus as yourself. Jesus is the one who's going to save everybody. Love him. You're not, you can't save anyone. You can love the good neighbor who Jesus is. Love your neighbor. Jesus is my good neighbor. If I love, guess what? But here's the thing. Not so that you don't get too messed up in your theology. Of course, if you love, let me ask you this. Who's going to love people more? Someone who loves Jesus the most or other people? Can people love other people and not love Jesus? They sure can. Can people love Jesus and not love other people? No, they can't. Do you see what I'm saying? Do people know, can Jesus make you love people properly? Yes. Can you love people wrong without Jesus? You sure can. It happens all the time. So Jesus is giving a practical thing. Love your name. Love God. Okay, we got that. But who is God? Jesus. He's basically saying, love God and love God. Love God and love God in the flesh. You're a good neighbor. Me. I'm going to be the one who does the work. I'm picking up all the people beat up. Everyone thought I was the bad guy. I'm the good guy. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now you love my Father in Heaven and you love me and we'll take care of the whole world and you'll be my hands and feet. You see what I mean? That's the real parable of the Good Samaritan. Right? Very good stuff. Love God, love Jesus. And you'll end up loving others. Yeah. So, I, I I mean, that's the way I read it. That's yeah. the way I read it. And everybody reads it the other way. Do you see what I'm saying? Wow. But it, when you read it, the, when you read it properly, it opens up all of these Big other time. things, yes. which is, yeah, that's right. I, I I, I con when I concentrate directly on loving other people, I mess up a lot of times. Yeah. But if I concentrate on just loving Jesus, he always tells me how to love other people right. Mm -hmm. So I can't go wrong. Anyway, I think that's great. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the world is about to force us all to make tough decisions. So get ready. Get ready. Get ready and do not hold your life in the flesh dear. You will die sometime, so don't worry about it. But do not go to Babylon for your medicine and for your life. Do not go back to Egypt to fight your battles. Go to the Lord. Amen. Did you want to say to somebody? Want to say something? Charles and Shirley. Go ahead, Cheryl. I just wanted to tell you that um, before he started talking, the Lord showed me a picture of a ring of heaven, and it was lined with the angels. And they were all on their yep. elbows listening to what Todd was going to say. <laughs> and he knew what I knew. I thought, okay, this is really going to be important. And it was very important. It was yeah. very important. Well, well, that's because I don't even know what I'm going to say. What, <laughs> uh, what is, what is very profound in this to me is, is that when you are indoctrinated into religion, so say you grew up and you learned a certain story over and over and over and over again, and then yeah. when you hear it, in a different way, your spirit's like, oh, I get it. Jesus is the neighbor. You're still, your mind, right, is still is resisting it because it's like, I've never, that's not the way I know it. You know, it fights against you. Right. That's the religious spirit, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah, it is. I guess that's a good. Anyway, anybody, so we just want to take some prayer requests.
Uh, hey, David. Hey, Carol. Hey, Adam. Hi, Rita. Rita, God bless you. Hi, Cindy. Okay, hi, Cindy. Hi, Diana and Arlen. Great to see you guys. We love we love everybody that tunes in here. And we want to pray for you. We want to pray for all kinds of things. Um, I, my prayer today was, Lord, give me a hunger and thirst for prayer. Because I do not pray. I, I put off prayer a lot. I have great intentions every day yeah. to go to, I make, I cannot tell you over and over, I make these hour long mm -hmm. prayer appointments that I never show up. <laughs> and, um, and, and the Lord was like, of course you never do because you're trying to do it in the flesh. Yes. So I'm asking the Lord to give me a desire to like prayer more and to like his word more because you know what, uh, you know, I, I only so what is the most important thing in life is to love God and love your neighbor. Well, your your good neighbor is God, so it's love God and love God. So I gotta love God, right? I've gotta love God and I've gotta love Jesus. And when who's the one? I'm the one. Who, I didn't just I I ran out of Jerusalem. I ran out of Jerusalem chasing after whatever I thought was good, right? And I got the crap beat out of me. I got stripped naked, literally. <laughs> I woke up naked on a stairwell one time. I had no idea how I got there, but I got beat up. And Jesus yeah. saved me. So, you know, you, it's, anyway, it was my own stairwell to just to make that. It wasn't out there. Uh -huh. And I wasn't beat up. I was never mind. Yeah. I'll just tell you. Thanks it was not good. Now. Okay. Uh, but I'm better beat now. <laughs> Spiritually beat up. Spiritually beat up, yes. Anyway. All right. Well, Bill, how are you? God is great. So yes, true. Right. Bill and Carol, so awesome. So let's just pray. We want to thank you, Father. We didn't even pray when we started today, did we? Yep, we did. Good. We did. We did. Oh, we, did. Good. we got that. Forgive, forgive me for <laughs> I've been distracted. But we pray for little Ava. Yes. yes. Put the blood of Jesus, Jesus. over yes, her, Lord. Father. And just we pray if she's not feeling well or that she would be made whole. And just give some rest. And thank you for Adam and Abby, Lord. We pray to continue to lift them up to you, Father, as they learn to juggle up. A new family dynamic that you would give them wisdom and comfort and rest. Yes, Lord. Pray for Adam's yes, back and his yes, physical body, Lord, that you would heal and restore it. Let's yes. pray for his truck or whatever's going on. Yes, Lord. Lord. Fix his, let his truck, whatever Jesus is happening, let, give him that vehicle to run, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I just lift up the physical uh, healing and wholeness of everyone that's in our fellowship, Lord. Yes, There's so Lord. many, uh, Cheryl and Terry and yes, Kathy Lord. and Marsha yes, and Rita and um, Melody yes, and Stan. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Mike, we lift up um, Glenn, we lift up Kathy and Jim Getman, Diana and Arthur. Orland, Brad yes. and Chris, yes, um, Sherry Lynn, and, yes. yeah, and, and Lynn, Lord. We thank you for her daughter, Lord, Lord yes. getting uh, the proper help that she needs. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone that's Hallelujah. listening or watching this, Father, we ask that your Holy Spirit would touch them, Lord, in a mighty way. Father, I know there have been so many prayer requests that I've seen this just in this past week, Lord, and and right now, Lord, my mind is just so working. But, Father, you you know what they are. And so, Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. I lift all of these up to you, Father. And I pray that you would touch each and every one. For those that are um, continuing to struggle as our nation starts to go into turmoil again, Lord, I don't doubt that there are many who are suffering and in fear mm -hmm. against uh, this mm -hmm. virus, Lord. And we pray mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus that you would give mm -hmm. each person the faith yes, and the Lord. wisdom that they need, Lord, and mm -hmm. that you would bring comfort and peace and healing, Father. And I thank you that last week you gave me the scriptures for me to live is Christ and for me to die is gain, Father. And then um, that was the scripture that I, in my Bible reading today. And I know that's how you always confirm your word to me again and again for 20, almost 20 years. You've done that, Lord. So I release that word to all that can within the sound of my voice in uh, Philippians that you would look that up and that you would believe the words of God and that you would hide them in your heart and that you would hold on to them by faith. Yes, yes, that for you yes. to live is Christ, but also to mm. die is gain. And, and also in John Hallelujah. 14, verse 1, the, the, Jesus told us, do not let our hearts be troubled. Um, because where he's going, he's preparing a place for us. And so um, we believe in you, Lord, today. We trust you. 
We come against fear. We repent for agreeing with it at any time or any other stronghold, Lord, that we've had. We repent for agreeing with those, Lord. We cover those in the blood of Jesus. We ask, Lord, you judge all those sins to death, Father, but you judge us to life. We thank you for that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your time, Lord. In Jesus' name. Lord, I, I pray for everybody uh, here. I pray for a, a, a David Ashlock, Lord, our our great and uh, wonderful father-in-law. I pray a blessing of him physically, Lord. I pray that he would not get too worn out with his re-decorating uh, and that he would just get in. Once it's done, he has a period of peace in order to enjoy it. Yes, Lord, we just thank you for him. Lord, we lift up uh, the, do you have the, do you have these? Do you want to, do you want to come and pray oh, for yeah. the people that yeah, we, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. we were we out ministering? Uh, we want to lift up um, Rana and Ozzy too. Yeah. We want to lift up yeah. Rana Johnstone and and, her, and Ozzy, her her son. Yeah. We want to lift up our friend uh, Sean Hirsch that went Shannon. to Shannon Hirsch yeah. that went to yes. uh, the mission that we met at in the outreach ministry, and pray that he he hangs in there, Lord. And uh, we pray for um, uh, we pray for Pastor. Uh, what was uh, Pastor oh, Mike right. Mike uh, mm -hmm. Downey and uh, and his ear, Lord, and the things that he yes, had, Lord. he got an ear blown out. We pray for healing there, Lord, in yes. Jesus' name. We continue to thank you for the healings that you've given through yes. this the ministry and the yes. people here. And we pray that more people do come and get supernatural healing and deliverance in Jesus' mighty name. And we have some prayer requests here. Uh, these requests uh, are from you. our ministry. Okay. Um, okay. Our right ministry now. and from... Um, from the uh, from, from the, the Mitchell Ferris County Fair as well. Okay. Yes, um, we pray for Richard. He has dementia, and he asked for prayer. Yes, this sir. was from yesterday. Allison, she's in a very bad situation. She, um, her, she's living with her boyfriend, so she's kind of homeless right now. We tried to get her into a mission, and they had a bed for her, but she just wasn't ready to go. Um, she needs salvation, and she needs to make that decision. She was this close to going to the mission, and Victoria was going to give her a ride, but <clears throat> she just wasn't ready to go. We pray for Mark and Georgia. They, he was in such dire straits, and he just has been praying, and, and he's separated from his wife right now, and he just wants salvation for him and his wife. He wants his marriage to be saved, and he needs a job doesn't have a phone, any way to be contacted, so Lord, just please let him walk into a position, Lord, so that he can work with his wife and just save this marriage, Lord, and so they can save their marriage and bring salvation to with you for both of them, Lord. Um, I pray, we pray for Bria and Derek Chaplin. Uh, they are a military family with eight kids, and they're moving to Germany. Wow. Okay. We pray for uh, Reagan, for his uh, grand dad, his grandmom to get out of the hospital, Lord. We pray for him and his grandmother. We pray for Gary Pickle. We pray the Lord's Prayer. That was it. Uh, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. That your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you this day for our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All done, Gary. Mary Nelson, auto, several autoimmune diseases. She's going deaf. She's got. Uh, so, Lord, in Jesus' name, we pray for Mary, and we pray that these diseases, that her body would stop attacking itself in Jesus' mighty name, and that she would uh, get hearing and help, Lord. We pray for Angie, personal problems with herself and her family, and we pray that the spirit of peace would be released over Angie, Lord, and her family in Jesus' mighty name. Shauna, we pray for domestic issues with her husband and kids. Lord, these are tough times for families, and we lift up Shauna's family in Jesus' mighty name. We have Tammy's left ankle that needs help. Surgery. surgery. Is that yes. okay? Yes. SX means surgery? Yes. I not, did not know. We lift up the SX for set for her ankle, Lord. And we pray that's a successful yes. surgery in Jesus' name. And I don't know what that is. Pam. Pam. And uh, family salvation and her husband's yes. salvation. Yes. So we just lift those Thank needs you. up to you. Does anybody else have any needs up there? I don't see anything, so. You know how to scroll up? I scrolled down. Oh, it's... 
Yeah, I just scrolled. I've got yeah, it. I was I was over to a friend's house the other day. Uh, he lives over on on Twelfth and Maple here. Okay. And, uh, did anybody hear about that uh, little girl that got killed in a go kart accident? No. Seven year old girl. Uh, see, here in a couple jail? days ago. Yeah. Well. Wow. Know, it happened uh, down south of here. Well, if I forget the. Around New Hampshire, somewhere in that area, but oh. but she stayed with her mother uh, in, in that neighborhood. I, I was just there visit, happily visit, and the neighbor came up and he said, oh, "I got to talk to him." And the whole neighborhood is devastated because this little girl, that she's a triplet, and she oh, would come and no. she's seven years old, and she get killed in a go kart accident, and, and the whole neighborhood was just mourning. And I, I said, no. "I pray, we pray for the neighborhood." Yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, Do you know her name? Uh, I forgot her name. The last name is Black here, but I don't remember her first name. Father, yes. Yes. Father, yes. yes. we pray in Jesus' name for all of those involved, Father. And just, oh, um, your word says to mourn with those who mourn. And so I thank you that this community has one another to help comfort and to carry each other through this very tragic and hard time, Lord. We, we thank you, Lord, for your provision in times like these. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow. And That's just sad. Just Think of me on Monday because I gotta have my colonoscopy. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. So, Lord, we pray for a perfect result for Stan yes. when yes. colonoscopy. Yes. We uh, honor Diana's prayer request for salvation for all of our families who yes. are not saved. We trust you with the Lord. Yes. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. Well, we're going to end with. Uh, one well, sorry, I was going to do happy songs, but I don't think I'm going to do them now. Well, I, love you guys. I love all you guys. I'm heading out. Is your is car working now? Oh, yeah. it, it's been working. I just, it, what, what, it's on and off. Oh, so okay. It, it works. It just like as when I got here in the Osage, it started acting weird. Okay. So, we'll try to find it in Jesus' name. All right, love you. Love you. Like pray for Bill and Carol. Uh, it's so great, great to see you guys on here. We we missed you since you came to church and visited, and yes. we know yes. that the enemy has been out to attack you. Yes. We are thankful yes. for Brad and Chris mm -hmm. um, as they continue to uh, disciple you guys and be a support to you, Father. Bring them in closer, Lord. Let us be a support for them. Yes, we just thank you for Bill and Carol in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. And above all, love the Lord God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. Above all powers, above all kings, above all nations and all created beings, above all wisdom and all the ways to live. Above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all ones the world has ever known, above all wealth and treasures of the earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Actually, I got something today that said there were 229 pastors scheduled for execution today oh, wow. by the Taliban. So, Father, in Jesus' name, we lift up our suffering brothers and oh, sisters, Jesus. especially in, in Nigeria and Afghanistan right now. And all those people, Lord, that came to you during that time when they were un not under oppression, Lord, I pray that you would strengthen them. And if you can get many of them out, do, Lord. Otherwise, we'll see them, Lord, on the other side. Teach us, Lord how to be strong in these times, yeah. and uh, we thank you, Lord. We pray for those people that were mentioned um, in that international uh, call for prayer today, all those pastors and house church leaders that were given those sentences today. <coughs> so, Father, intervene in Jesus' name and to smite your enemies, Lord, in yes, Jesus' Lord. mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank the Lord. Well, well, we thank you. Bye-bye. Woo! All righty.